That's good. I love the taxis here, they're all so cute and retro. Honestly, all the cars are so cute. We are in our hotel in Kyoto. We are staying in the Royal Park. It is very, very nice. This room is a little interesting layout wise. Let me show you. So here is the entrance. We come over here, we have the TV, um, little beverage station, another Nespresso. Let's see, are these the same flavors? Oh, different flavors, we'll have to try. Um, and it gave us a meditation oil, I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, but nice um, drawers, and I think this is probably the mini fridge. Yep, no microwave though, Jordan. Um, what is that? Is this a paper shredder? What is this? Oh, it's like air a purifier. oh air purifier. Um, huge bed though, like yeah. massive. Uh, nice sitting area. Honestly, a great little napping area there too. Uh, they brought our luggage up for us, which was super nice because we spent the morning out because we couldn't check in. There are hooks on the wall. That's a plus because we never get hooks. Is this a closet, I would think? Yeah, so a closet with a full length mirror. I have missed my full length mirror. Oh, there's like these bags. Um, again, I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, slippers and like shower shoes. And then this is the bathroom. So essentially there's no like window to this room except for this one, which goes out. So we have the sink area, um, the toilet, so we can watch ourselves go to the bathroom. <laughs> and then, oh, no bathtub, that's okay. Um, the shower. But yeah, so this is our view, <laughs> which is kind of a bummer, but honestly, it's okay. We've been very lucky with other with our past two hotels. Um, here's the amenities in case anyone was uh, curious of the brand. So can't complain too much about the room because this hotel has a lot of like extras included in the price. So one of them being a um, lounge area. So essentially like a club level, but for all guests. Um, so they do like cocktail hour in the afternoon for with free drinks right now They're doing like snack hour, but essentially you get five kind of treats um, Slash sweets it says from the like sweets store from downstairs But they bring them up to the lounge area and then in the morning there was something else too, Jordan But I forget what it was. I think maybe light refreshments or something. Maybe. I don't know. I yeah, um but there's also like a meditation room and like relaxation area. So that's why they gave us that um, like essential oils basically. Oh, sorry, bad lighting. Um, and then those two bags are for us to bring like our towels and stuff to the meditation room. Oh, and it's like a bath. I think it's an onsen. I'm not sure if it's fully naked. We'll definitely go check it out just to see. Um, but so that's really fun and it's gender separated. This fun box came with the room. I'm not sure what's in here. Let's see. Oh, so these are all of our like amenities, which is really nice. Body towel. I wonder if we can keep this. I think we can because it's like wrapped like this. Yeah. So more towels for us to keep. Shower cap, hairbrush, razor, vanity kit. Oh, skincare. More skincare. That'll be fun. Toothbrush and hairband. I love that they give you these because like nice. people forget these and it's nice to have on hand. So that's fun. That's a nice little fancy box. Japanese hotels love to give you pajamas, and that's so nice. I'm gonna sit on the bed in my dirty clothes, sorry. Um, but we had a great morning in Kyoto. Honestly, I love this city a lot already. But we started in Arashiyama Bamboo Park. Mm -hmm. That's a small city. Sure. <laughs> um, I started the day saying that I kind of just want to get it out of the way because it's kind of an iconic thing and I'll be sad if we don't do it, but it's not like number one on my list. But it ended up being one of like the coolest things ever. I love it so much. The bamboo park itself was really cool and beautiful just to mm -hmm. be surrounded by all of that. But then the area that um, we like got dropped off on in uh, from like the train and stuff was so cute. There's like a bunch of vendors. It's very touristy, of course. <laughs>
<laughs> I got these little bear things. I drizzled them in some honey. They're like waffles. Yeah. But I think mochi? Oh, really? Oh, eat mochi it. Mochi waffle? Let's see. Is it like mochi? Mm, yeah. It's pretty much like waffle. <laughs> Take a video of everything that I'm not going to buy, but I want to buy. Okay, if, if I was a millionaire, I would buy all of these. But just like the vibes of the town was really, really calming and serene and super lush. Like I loved just seeing not only the bamboo, but there's just so much foliage because I'll have to fact check myself, but I think we're like close in the mountains in this area, like definitely not like in the depths of the mountains, but like there's, you know, um, terrain here, yeah. which is really, really nice. Yeah. It's a nice difference from Florida. <laughs> Look at me. What do you see? I see you better. <laughs> so it was just really great to see like the mountains and the hills and all the trees and it's starting to be fall, like it's starting to be cold now. So there was a lot of like, um, colors, um, like different colors in the trees and stuff. So that was really beautiful. Um, and then, yeah, just the vibes of the town was really, really nice and calm. And there were a bunch of people in the rented like kimonos and stuff, which was really cute. And yeah, I, loved, I loved seeing the like women because like, obviously like they'll do it, but I also loved seeing the men do it and like get really into it. It was so cute. Um, sorry, Jordan, oh no, I was just saying it was a nice quaint little day. Mm -hmm. I was just walking around looking at different markets and I don't know, I was just strolling down some random streets. Oh yeah, Jordan like took us down like this random neighborhood street out of the bamboo forest and I absolutely loved that because it was super residential. Um, they were just like, it was just cool to see like how people lived in that area because it is super touristy but there is, there are neighborhoods. Um, and we put in our AirPods and we listened to Kyoto by Phoebe Bridgers and also the Keys Delivery Service um, score because I just like love that score so much. So it was really cool just to have like a little main character moment and, yeah. or just like dissociate a little bit while we were walking down there. We were in the bamboo grove. Now we are walking through this little neighborhood that we stumbled upon. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to see like a residential area, I guess. I love Kyoto. Country life. We haven't been here very long and I already love it so much. It's so peaceful here. This is just so beautiful to me. I love it here. I used to be into the city life. Not no mo. I like it like this. It means a country girl. Quiet and crows. That's all I need. The Jordan. And solace. The Jordan. <laughs> and then our lunch was so good. We found this uh, Wagyu place that's right in like our Shiyama area. It's literally like two minutes from the bamboo grove. Uh, and it was so tasty. That was my first like real Wagyu I've ever had. It wasn't A5, but still, like, I don't know. I don't know the difference really, because I haven't had it, um, but it was so tasty. The beef was like, it, I won't say it melted in your mouth because it wasn't like that as fatty. It was definitely still fatty, but like, I, it, you just, just like, you could taste the, the quality. It was so good and the sauce they used on it. And then we, the set that we got was like an inter interactive set. All food is interactive really. But essentially you start with the rice and the beef and you like take a few bites of that I, I split mine into thirds basically because there were three steps and then the second step was eating it with like the different seasonings but honestly like i used those seasonings in the first step too because they gave you this like fresh fresh wasabi you could tell it was fresh and it tasted so good with the meat like it, was, it just cut through so nice and then the pickles were really good there was like this red cabbage pickle that was so tasty that was my favorite what was your favorite <laughs> my favorite <laughs> I like the wasabi and and uh and the green onion and yeah. just the steak itself i know the steak yeah. itself was really good you could taste the quality even though it was like a super touristy spot and it was so busy we only waited 10 minutes surprisingly mm -hmm. like they had a sign outside that was like we're full at capacity so you'll wait like 40 to 50 minutes but we only waited 10 minutes which was great um but then the third step was um this dashi broth that was so good but the dashi broth came in like a little <sighs> pot and they um lit the candle underneath so it stayed warm throughout your entire meal because it was the third step um, so essentially you pour the dashi broth over the meat 
and you make like a little soup type of situation. Um, that was probably my least favorite way to eat it, to yeah. be honest, because like the flavor of the beef is just so good when it's like fresh and stuff. Um, but I like put my extra green onions in there and my wasabi <laughs> made a little, you know, like hot pot. Um, and it was still really good. And I like, you know, you put the rice in and make a little porridge. Um, and then drink. I, I we didn't let anything go to waste. I did like no. I didn't finish some of my pickles, but Jordan was clean plate club. Clean plate club. We even finished all the pickles. Best meal you've had. Just had the best meal, and now we're Ooh. finishing it off with ice cream. Resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> I think that was, that's about yeah, the recap. Yeah, I think right? that's about all we did. So now we're just going to rest up a little bit. Yep. And then uh, get ready to do tonight's activities. Yeah. See you Hello. Howdy. We are back from our little Kyoto, like downtown Kyoto adventure. Um, we went to a cat cafe because we really needed to like decompress a bit. We're very tired. Yeah. It is officially day five of the trip. I think so, yeah. And yeah, we're like hitting a wall of tiredness. <laughs> but we're trying to like re rally and get back it because there's so much to do and we want to enjoy it. But anyway, yeah, so we went to a cat cafe. It was very, very cute. Yeah. They had so many cute cats. There were so many munch, uh, what's it called, munchling cats. Yeah. And I'd never seen those before in real life, and they were so cute. And there were lots of ragdoll cats, which are, like, so beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen a ragdoll in person either. Yeah. There was one that was cross-eyed. Oh, yeah. And they were so cute. They were all cute in their own way. Yeah, we loved all of them. Um, but we, at that, um, cat cafe, it was called Mocha. It was like in the mall essentially. And it was on the same floor as Loft. One of the like four floors of Loft. And it just happened to be the floor of like pop culture things, I think mm -hmm. is what they call it. So because of that, we got a lot of mystery boxes Oops. because they had great mystery boxes there. We got some gifts there because, um, Marianne, if you are watching this, skip like 20 seconds, but they had Sunny Angels and I got Marianne, my cousin, two Sunny Angel boxes because she thinks they're really funny and she doesn't have any. So I thought that'd be like a fun gift. I'll go first. I'll open this while you are. With, so I got a Smisky, um, I got one of the work lines. Um, so here are some of the options. Um, and we think Smisky is so funny. The, so doing various work tasks, so I think it'd just be funny to have, and 
look at on my desk while I'm doing my own work. These are all by Pop Mart too. And I think I've said this in a vlog before. I love mystery boxes. Like they're my weakness in life. And I am on mystery box TikTok like all the time. And I see all these great Pop Mart ones, but they're so expensive online. And I, there's probably a place in Orlando that sells like a bunch because Orlando loves pop culture, but I haven't found it. So it was really cool to find these and they were like relatively cheaper. They were um, inexpensive. But I got, while Jordan's opening his, the first one I got is called the Grand Daku Hotel, like the Grand Budapest Hotel. And they're so funny. I saw this on TikTok and I've always wanted it, but it's just expensive online. I really, really want the concierge one. Where is he? Like this one, because he's so funny. And some of these are super detailed too, which is really great. So it's a good deal. Sidebar too, I think I said this in the other vlog too, but we held ourselves accountable and we only got one box of each because if we got multiple and or if we got more than one of the same like figure it would be annoying yeah like we'd have to sell it on ebay or gift it or something like that so we had self-control and only got one even though i want like eight out of this collection they're so cute okay so let's see here's mine open it up i got this little wrapper oh you opened it from the top so i guess we're not reselling this one. yeah uh and then Let's see, this one is a lecturer Aww. giving a presentation. Or he's like, yeah, he's giving a presentation because it's work. So it's right. like the big day and he's giving the presentation. So that's funny here. This actually comes off. So. Okay, I'm going to keep this on, but he's holding the thing and this is just a protective sleeve. That's so cute. Yeah. I got, this comes with a card, which is really nice. I got the Bellboy, which is really cute. This is one of the ones that I wanted. I did really want the concierge, but it's okay. Look how detailed these are. Oh, wow. So I got the Bellboy. He comes on a little luggage cart. And I might as well put them together to show. While she's doing that, I will open my other one. I got this uh, Minions at Work. Hmm, do I think about work too much? Vacation. Well, it's like such like a valid, like it's to validate our purchases. It's like, oh, we'll put this on our desk at yeah. work, you know? So here are some of the options for the minions at work. Um, there's a couple that I do really want, but I think they're all funny because they're all minions. So yeah. um, now I'll start opening this. Here's my little bell boy. He's so cute. I love him. Okay, let's see which one of these. I got I got this one which is oh I think this is jam making Bob so this is Bob making some jam what? and he comes with oh uh, he comes with like oh. a tub to make jam and he also comes with a little tin so, Wait, you get so much stuff in this. Yeah, because it comes with a whole, like, oh, case. Oh, yeah, it comes with, like, a stand and everything. Yeah. Oh, here, it has your card. Here. Uh, so this is what he looks like when he's all done. It's so cute that it comes with Tim. We love Tim. <laughs> that's cute. Uh, Sorry you didn't get water cooler. Oh, uh, that's okay. Audrey, if you're watching this, skip 10 seconds. But, I spoiler alert, I got you a Smisky for Christmas. <laughs> But okay, so the first Smisky that I got was the museum ones, and I got it because I want this girl with the pearl earrings so bad. I think that is so freaking funny. I honestly don't really want the other ones, but I will make do if I do have the, have another have one that I don't want. Uh, I didn't get it. I think this is Picasso though. This is a good second. I think that's Picasso. Let me see. Do they label? I think the Smiskies are so funny. And I'm gonna put them all over my office. Oh, Velasquez. Or Velasquez, sorry, Velasquez. Dang, I really wanted the pearl earring. Dang, I'm sorry. Well, that one's really cute. And I love the Smiskies because they glow in the dark. Okay. Okay, the next Here's... one I got was Yoga. And I will be happy with any of these because they're all hilarious. They all look cute. Here, Dre, you can open this one. Uh -huh. Let's see. And oh yes, I wanted this one. It's so funny. I don't know what pose this is. Sorry, yogis. But it's so funny. 
He's gonna sit right on my shelf and go in the dark. <laughs> Boat. Boat. Boat pose. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize the tree had a little one. Yeah, I feel like the lucky ones are the ones that come with multiple little guys, but alas. Now yeah. I want more. That's why these are really uh, dangerous for us. Yeah. I love mystery boxes. All right, we'll come back to you with another mystery box haul next time we get goaded into buying them. Okay, so the other thing we we did on our comforting night in Kyoto. We're taking it easy tonight, taking all it right? Easy. Today's, um, tonight's a healing night. So that we can go hard tomorrow. We also paid a lot for lunch, so we kind of needed this. Um, but we also got some McDonald's. Macas. Uh, and we're only going to show you what we got because we're not going to eat on screen because we want to relax and eat and like watch TV. But just assume everything was good. And if you want a thorough overview, I'm sure it exists on YouTube. <laughs> There's that. That's how apathetic we feel right now. But um, this is a large, which um, is always funny because people, you know, like Japan, it's smaller. But this is a great size for me. Um, but this is the mus Muscat soda, which is the white grape soda. And as I have said before, I love white grape. Yep. Okay, let's see. What else did we get? Uh, I think this is yours. I forget what we got. I got an EB Fileo, which is basically the shrimp burger. I'm very oh, excited. Yeah. I remember what I got. All right. Here's this one. That's a samurai mac. Oh, it says samurai mac, but um, it, it might be that's what it's called. But I got... A bacon soy burger, basically. Like a oh, soy glaze. Oh, that's right. A soy sauce bacon, bacon thick, thick burger. burger. So like a, a quarter like pounder, I think. Um, also, this is my first McDonald's in like 10 weeks, I want to say. Cause I, oh, even more. Yeah. yeah. Like, really? I oh, yeah, like, like three months? Yeah, maybe? I think three or four months. Because I cut it cold turkey um, back home. But in Japan, I wanted to try the Japanese McDonald's, so this is my little treat. Yeah. Um, I just got a double cheeseburger. Um, just plain and simple. But um, I also got a shaka shaka chicky with some cheddar cheese so I can shake it up and have a good cheesy chicken. And then we got some fries. And we got an apple pie. And I got goaded into the apple pie because it, they were like, hey, do you want an apple pie? And I was like, I turned down and I said, don't they still fry it here? And she goes, yeah, you should get it. And so I'm like, yeah. They don't bake it, they fry it, makes it better. So mm -hmm. let's eat. Yes. We're gonna sign off now. Um, this was a really fun day in Kyoto. I love Kyoto so much, especially the countryside. It's just so gorgeous. Um, so really excited for tomorrow. And what's more to come? Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.